All right. In this video, we are going to um, look at the uh, uh, red black tree. Uh, there are two uh, topics that we're going to go through in the uh, red black tree. Uh, the first video, this video, we're going to talk about the uh, insertions. Okay, and the next video, uh, we're going to talk about the uh, deletions. Now, the uh, red black tree is a uh, specific type of a balanced trees. Uh, like we, uh, you know, study for the uh, two, three uh, uh, search tree, uh, you know, red black tree is another type of a balanced tree. Uh, try to, you know, minimize the uh, tall binary trees. So, uh, it's a little bit more complicated than the uh, two, three tree that we talked about uh, last couple of days. Um, there are some uh, operations that, you know, we need to understand before we can actually add or delete at those kind of things, okay? All right, so we know that balanced search trees, uh, it guarantees the height of the also of log n, right? So, um, just like the two, three uh, search tree, that's the same uh, things for the uh, red, black tree. We want to look at the uh, properties of uh, red, black trees, okay? Some of these properties can be combined into one, but let's just look at uh, properties here. Um, as you can see, all the nodes uh, that we have on the trees are gonna be either red or black. That's what we call the red and black tree. So uh, first property, uh, red black tree must be a binary search tree. Uh, remember that the uh, binary search tree has the property itself, right? So we need to understand that binary search tree property is that. Uh, number two, the root node must be color black. Okay, so you know, the beginning, the root node is always gonna be a, a black node. Uh, property number three, the children of red color node uh, must be color black. So if you have, uh, uh, you know, your parent node is a red, then the uh, you know, children is going to be a black. Okay. In other words, you cannot have a two consecutive red nodes. Okay. Uh, property number four, in all the path of the tree, there should be a, a same number of black color nodes. In other words, that, you know, uh, uh, from the, uh, for example, root node, you go to the, uh, uh, some directions, number of the black nodes must be the same. So if you look at the uh, one example that I have right below there, so if you start from the uh, root node four, and if you go down to the, uh, you know, root node one, which is a black, so now you have, what, two nodes there, and that's going to be the same thing for if you go down to eight, or if you go down to three, or go, go down to five. So uh, that's what we mean by the uh, uh, same number of black color nodes, okay? Uh, number five, every new node must be inserted with a red color. So if you wanna add something, add a new node, it has to be a, a red. Uh, and the, all the uh, uh, nil, you know, uh, node, uh, you know, uh, at the left node, it's gonna be a, a color black. So if you look at my, um, the example tree there, all these, uh, you know, uh, left node who does not have any children is becoming, a, a, you know, a, a color black, which I didn't do, but all these, uh, you know, uh, children is gonna be all black and this gonna be a, a left node. So that's the uh, property of, uh, red, black, a uh, tree. Now, searching is not going to be their problem. You just go through the, uh, you know, uh, as you have done for the uh, binary tree. So searching is not a big, you know, problem. You can just go through exactly where you're going to, you know, go through the binary tree. In this case, you know, uh, color doesn't matter. But inserting is going to be a little bit different here. Okay, so here, here's some uh, general 
way that we are going to insert the uh, uh, node. The, but that I kind of, uh, after this, I will have some cases that, you know, we can go through. Uh, in, you know, uh, instead of just, you know, uh, going through these steps, if you kind of uh, find out which case it is, uh, then, you know, it's going to be much easier. So insertion into a red black tree. Uh, in a uh, red black tree, every new node must be inserted with the uh, red, uh, you know, color red. Okay. Uh, the insertion operation in red uh, black tree, okay, is a similar to the uh, insertion operation in binary search tree, but it is inserted with the uh, color property. So after every insertion operation, we need to check all the properties of red black tree. So in other words, that once you finish the inserting, we need to find out, see if you violated any type of, uh, you know, properties that we just dis, uh, discussed. Okay. So if you did violate the, uh, uh, you know, the properties, then we have to fix it. Okay. Uh, if all the properties are satisfied, then we go to the next operation. Otherwise, we perform the following operation to make it red, black tree. Uh, recolor, rotation. Uh, rotation followed by recolor. Uh, the insertion operation in red black trees are performed using the following step. Okay. Uh, check whether the tree is empty. If tree is empty, then insert the, a new node as a root node with the color black and exit from the operation. So in other words, that if it's empty, you just beginning, uh, you know, let's say you want to add 20, then 20 going to be a, a root node and becomes a black. And then you're done. Uh, step three, if the uh, tree is not empty, then insert the new node as a leaf node with the color red. No? Okay, that's fine. We'll go through that in a minute. Um, if the uh, parent no new node is a black, then exit from the operations. Okay. If the uh, parent of a new node is red, then check the color of the parent node, sibling new node. Uh, this is going to be a little bit complicated here, so I made it a little bit easier than, you know, so we'll go through this as we go through the exam. Yeah. So if it is a color black or no, then make a suitable rotation and recolor it. So we're going to learn uh, rotations. Okay. So I will show you, uh, you know, uh, how to apply the rotations. Okay. Uh, if it is a color red, then perform the recolor. Repeat the same until tree becomes a red black tree. All right, so these kind of, these are general steps that you will have to go through for the uh, you know, inserting the uh, node in the red or black tree. So, but there will be a uh, four cases here. Okay. So let me just go through here. Then after that, we're just going to go through some examples to, uh, you know, find out, see if that makes sense. So case zero is that, you know, uh, it's a root node. Okay, then you just make it black, then you're finished. Uh, case one, uh, you know, uh, you're adding, uh, uh, you know, a uh, node to, let's say, existing, you know, a parent node, which, uh, which is a black. Now you, you are adding the red, okay? And if that's the case, then you're going to be fine. But, all right, if the, uh, uh, you you know, if you're uh, trying to add the uh, child, you know, child node, okay, and the, uh, uh, you know, if your uh, parents or sibling is red, you're just going to recolor them. You know, that's what I, we will talk about this in, in the example. But, you know, uh, you have to trust me on that when we go down there, we'll, uh, you know, apply this, uh, you know, uh, properties as we go through. Uh, case two and case three uh, is going to be, you know, you, you are looking at the, uh, your parents' sibling. So you may call uncle or aunt, whatever. If that sibling, you know, your uh, uncle or aunt was red, you're just going to recall it. That's what the uh, case one was. However, if you are uh, the parents' 
sibling, okay, is the uh, black, okay, then you're going to, uh, you know, coming down to uh, these two cases here, okay. Uh, you know, uh, so, sometimes that, <clears throat> or we'll explain this in a minute, but uh, uh, this is going to be, uh, case two and three is going to be a little bit complicated. Okay, so when I say form triangle, I'll explain that, you know, down there. Then you're going to rotate the, uh, uh, you know, your parent, okay, whether it's going to be to the left or right, it's going to be based on the, uh, what kind of a triangle that you form. Uh, the other is that, you know, your parents or sibling, your uncle or aunt is, uh, you know, forming a line, then you're going to rotate your grandparent uh, to the left or right, okay, and then you're going to recolor them based on the, uh, what you have, okay, so these two, uh, these two cases down here, it's a very, a little bit complicated, uh, but the, the thing that we're going to have to understand here is that we're going to have to either rotate your parent or you're going to have to rotate your uh, grandparent and recolor it, okay? And I'll show you the, uh, the way you're going to rotate your parent and grandparent, all right? So let's take a look, uh, you know, different cases here. So now uh, you're going to... Uh, you have an empty tree now, so you're going to insert the 15. So that's going to be case zero. And you're just going to have to, you know, uh, add and then, you know, uh, change the color to black. Okay, so that's going to be case zero. And from that 15, now we have uh, five you want to add to the existing tree. So now whenever you add node, it's gonna be a red, right? So now you want to add five and becomes your uh, you know, child of the existing node, which is a 15. So there's no violation here. Okay, so everything is fine. So now your tree structure is uh, five red and black 15. That's what you see here. This is your current tree now. Now we want to add one to this tree. Now, as you as for the binary tree, you know you're going to follow the same way. So we're going to add one to the uh, uh, five below, and that's what you see here. Oh, now we have this is a violation of two consecutive nodes here. So you're going to have to fix something. Okay. Now we need to go through these cases here, but it looks like uh, your parents is going to be the uh, red. And if you look at the, uh, you know, uh, uncle or aunt over here is a nil, but nil is going to be always a black, right? So once parent here, once parent sibling, you, know, you can call it you know, uncle or aunt, notice nil which is a black, okay? So this is gonna be a case three. Now, if you go back to right here, case three, but you're gonna to have to find out whether we are forming a triangle or the line. So when I say triangle, meaning triangle, I mean the a line or triangle, we're talking about see if the uh, one and five is forming a, a line like this, or we'll see that triangle like this. Okay. But in this case, it's a line. Okay. A line is formed. In other words, here, 1, 5, and 15. Okay. That's what you see here. So that's going to be uh, case number three. So uh, what happened here is that we are going to, now remember the 15 is a grandparent of node 1 that you just you know, uh, added. So we need to rotate to the right because, you know, uh, this is the uh, left line form, forming the left side. We're going to have to rotate to the right, okay, like so. Okay. And then we're going to have to fix the uh, after we make a rotations. Okay, so we're going to rotate one's grandparent to the right. 
and that's what you see here. Now, after you make rotations, uh, we have a violations, right? One and five, but you know, the K3 says once you rotate, okay, after you finish the rotating, then you're gonna have to recolor it. So in this case, you know, five becomes a blank and one and 15 becomes a red, okay? Because the, uh, the root node always has to be black and the children will become a uh, uh, red color set, okay? So that was kind of a simple way of adding one. So uh, in this case, the first thing that we have to recognize is that, oh, okay, now we have a violation. We have two consecutive red nodes there, so we cannot have that. And then uh, you look at the, uh, see if, um, you know, uh, uh, your uh, parents, uh, your uncle, your aunt is a black or red. So that's the second thing that you need to, uh, you know, uh, understand. So, so you're gonna go to the, uh, your parents and you look at your aunt or uncle. Now is the uh, Neil, right? It means a black. So the case two and three is when, when you have a black uh, uncle or black aunt, you know, that's what the uh, case two and three you need to apply. So in this case, the, uh, uh, the sibling of five, your, uh, you know, one's uncle or aunt or aunt is the uh, nil. So nil can null is always going to be a black. So that's going to be a case two or three. But, you know, as I mentioned, the uh, 1, 5, 15 forms the uh, line. So that's why we have a case 3. And then once you have a case 3, you want to rotate your grandparents, which is a 15, right? In this case, you can only go to the uh, right. You cannot go to the left, meaning the rotation. So you rotate the uh, right, and 5 becomes, uh, you know, root node and 15 goes down. And then after rotation, you uh, recolor, make sure that your uh, root node is gonna be uh, uh, you know, black and after that it's going to be a red. Okay, all right. So now let's just look at the uh, uh, interesting problem here. So we have uh, uh, now, uh, you know, tree structure. Uh, we want to add 10, okay? Uh, if I add 10, okay? And this is, you know, where I add the 10 over here, let me see. See, this is where I add 10. I'm gonna call that, you know, a location Z, okay? So here's the uh, 10 supposed to go. So that's what I added over there. So, but that's gonna be the, uh, the violation of uh, two consecutive red nodes. So we need to fix this, right? The violation of two uh, consecutive red nodes. Uh, once you uh, uh, realize that there's a violations, so next thing that you're going to watch out for is that, okay, what, what color is my uncle or aunt? Okay, so that's gonna be uh, Z's uh, parent siblings. So uh, 10's parent, parent is nine, okay? And the, uh, and the uh, uncle or aunt of number 10 is a 13 over here. But that's the uh, red color, okay? And the, uh, uh, that red color shows that this is the uh, case one. Uh, case one is uh, simply you are recoloring. Okay, so if you go back up here, case one, if your uncle or aunt is red, you just recolor them. So recolor to the other color, which is the, uh, you know, now the uh, nine and 13 becomes Okay, uh, black, right? And the 12 has to be red. Ah, 
So this is going to be uh, after the uh, recoloring here. So let me just highlight the uh, what the recoloring taking place here. So here's the uh, nine, and here's a thirteen. Okay, that was the uh, red before. So now your parent nine and thirteen becomes red. I mean the black from red, from red to black, and your grandparent was uh, black now becomes red, okay? So this is after the, uh, uh, you know, case one, after finishing the uh, case one, the problem here is, that, okay, so after the, uh, uh, you know, the uh, case one recoloring, we still have violation over here. We still have a uh, two consecutive red nodes, okay? So we need to fix this one there. So now, okay, remember that the, uh, um, if you look at the, uh, um, you know, now is a Z is over here. Okay. So if you look at the, you know, uh, uh, the violations, Okay, so you have a two consecutive node here. So uh, we, now we know the uh, uh, there's a violation. The second thing here is, that, okay, now, what color is my uncle or aunt? Okay, so 15 is my uh, parent. Then five is gonna be the uh, my uh, either uncle or aunt over here. So now you find out that it's a black color. So then it's going to be either a case, right? Two or case three. Okay. So if you go back, you know, up here, you have a case you know, two or three, if I go back here. So these two are, okay. The, uh, uh, your uncle or aunt right here. Well, this is when the uncle or uh, aunt is a black. Okay. Of course, the case one is that, you know, your uncle or aunt is going to be red. Okay. So in this case, we're going to be either a uh, case two or three. Let me just go back down to what we, okay. So if you look at the, uh, um, you know, your uncle or aunt, aunt it's going to be uh, a black color there. So that's going to be either case two or three. Now the other, after that, you're determining that, oh, okay, uh, it's going to be uh, either case two or three. Okay, now you're going to have to find out what, am I forming the line or am I forming the uh, uh, triangle? So if you look at the, uh, um, you know, from yourself to your parent and the, uh, to your uncle, it, you know, forming like triangle here, like this. So that's what we mean by the triangle. If you go back to the uh, previous problem, Okay, the one that we did earlier. If you look at this one there, this was just the uh, one line, right? So that's why we, you know, we use the uh, um, case three, right? Because the case three says, if your uncle or aunt is a black and you form the uh, uh, line, then you rotate the uh, grandparent and we call it. But since the problem that we are doing here is form the triangle, okay, we're going to uh, rotate the parent, okay? So uh, here we have uh, uh, your uncle or aunt as the uh, black. So this is a case two. Okay, so now we're gonna have to rotate my parent. How, which way are we going to rotate? You cannot rotate uh, left because the triangle is the form to the right of it. So you're gonna have to, uh, you know, rotate to the right. Now, if this would have been the other way around, like you know, forming to the left, then you're probably gonna have to rotate to the left. 
but this one we're going to rotate to the right yeah right notation on uh to the z's parent which is the node 12's parent okay so let's just rotate this now after the rotations so 15 uh, you have to be a couple of things you're gonna have to understand here so if you rotate Okay, eight, you know, we're not rotating eight and five here. Eight and five is gonna stay there. So if I'm going to rotate, then 15 coming down one unit and 19 coming down another unit and 23 is coming down another unit. So then 12 is going to take uh, 15th place. Okay, so let's just look at the, uh, this part only here. So, uh, uh, you know, when I, um, let me use this. This is going to be intermediate steps before I get to the uh, one that you see below there. So right now, uh, if you rotate, I don't have anything here, then the uh, 15 is coming down. Uh, then you're going to have a 19. Then you're going to have a 23. Now we still have a 12 here. And then I have a, still have a 13. Then I have a nine still here. Then I still have 10 over there. Okay. So, you know, uh, uh, this is going to be an intermediate step. So now then we are going to push this because we are rotating. Now 12 is going to take the empty uh, spot that uh, 15 vacated, okay? So if you look at this uh, in a, uh, graph after the rotation, so now 12 came up, 15 went down, and 19 and 23 uh, went down one unit. As you can see that, that's what you're seeing here. Hang on a second, let me uh, grab, okay? So as you can see that, you know, we have 15 came down one unit, then the uh, 19 and 23 came down one unit as well. And the uh, 12 came up to the uh, 15th place. That's what you saw there, okay? Now, when you, uh, you know, put the 12 into this location there, so what is happening to 13? That's going to be interesting because obviously that, you know, uh, 12 and 13 is connected. Uh, but because of the uh, 12 is going to go into this place. Okay, now the 13, instead of going to the 12, it has to go to the 15 right here. Okay. So the one thing that we're gonna to have to be careful about the, uh, uh, the rotation is that, you know, once you make the notations, uh, you know, one is gonna take the places of the other one, but the, uh, uh, the, the, you know, whatever they're remaining as, uh, you know, a children or child, it has to be reconnected to the uh, other nodes here. So what we did here is that because the 12 is gonna take this place over there, 13 is no longer connected to 12 anymore. And the, uh, the only way that you can connect the 13 is gonna be to the 15. I mean, uh, that was the, uh, uh, because if you go back to the, uh, um, you know, diagram here that uh, 23 and uh, 13 are the uh, same level before the uh, we rotate. So anything uh, you know uh, below that is not uh, going to be a uh, connection there. What I mean by that here is that uh, when you make the uh, rotation, okay, this 13 cannot go below the uh, uh, whatever that they are placed. Okay, so uh, the only way that, you know, uh, the weekend uh, connect after the uh, 12 is going to the, uh, uh, this, uh, you know, dotted place over there is the uh, connected to a uh, 15 as a child. 
because any other place, because if you, know, uh, if you look at the, uh, um, the diagram over here, nine, okay, uh, that you, know, you can see that 13 cannot be connected to a nine because it's already have 10, okay? And 13 cannot go below 15 because the uh, 23 and 19 is the uh, already pushed down and cannot be, uh, you know, uh, child, ch child of 19 or 23 because 13 is up here. So the only way that you can uh, add 13 is 15. Uh, 15 already has the uh, right child of 19. So the only uh, way that you can add this two is gonna be, uh, you know, 13 uh, to the left child of 15. So this is gonna be a little bit complicated after you making a rotation. Uh, you know, how are we going to, uh, you know, make a connections uh, for the uh, um, isolated node? Uh, you're just going to have to be careful about, you know, uh, the level that you are in. Uh, and that the other reason for that was the uh, 9 and 13 was at the same level. So 13 cannot be a child of 9. So that's why it has to go to the uh, uh, 15 there. Okay. All right. Now, the problem here is after the rotations that we have made. Now, if you look at the tree, we still have a problem, right? Because now we have a 12 and 15 right here is the, uh, the violation of, you know, having two consecutive red nodes. So now uh, we're going to look at the, uh, once we know that there's a violation, we're going to have to look at the, uh, your, uh, the color of your uncle or aunt. So 15 is our uncle or, you know, uh, aunt, the, uh, um, you know, uh, uncle or aunt. And remember that this is the, uh, uh, your parent, okay? 12 is your parent. So now you look at the, uh, um, you know, uh, um, your uncle or aunt, which is the uh, five over here. So that's going to be a black color. So you need to look at the, uh, uh, you know, case two or case three, because that's, you know, uh, that's the, uh, if your uh, uncle or aunt is the uh, <clears throat> color black. So uh, we need to find out, is that two, case two or case three? Now, since that, you know, uh, uh, your, you, I mean the uh, you, I guess, and your uh, parent and your grandparent, they're all in the uh, one line over here. So this is gonna be uh, more like, you know, case number three is forming a line. So that means we're gonna have to uh, rotate uh, grandparent. Okay, now here's the only way that we can rotate is gonna be to the left. Okay, there's, there's no one you cannot do on the because as I said, you know, you're forming to the right side of it, so you rotate to the left. The other one we had the uh, forming the uh, uh, line to the left, so we had to uh, rotate to the right, but this is exactly opposite there. So here we have uh, you and your parent and your grandparent. We're going to uh, rotate to the right. So that means that A is going to go down one unit and 12 is going to come up and then we're going to take care of the nose after that. Okay. So here, uh, after the rotation, so now the 12 becomes your parent node. Here's what that is. Uh, becomes the root node. Eight and five are going down one unit. Now remember that 15 and the uh, uh, 12, they went up one unit. So everything else that linked to the uh, 15, uh, it's gonna come up one unit there. Now, since the uh, 12 uh, went up to one unit, but there was a node, a nine and 10, okay? Now, since the uh, 12 is gonna be uh, you're moving one unit up, now with this thing is being disconnected uh, from the 12. Uh, so uh, when you look at it, once you, 12 is going to take the place of a root node, now it's 9 and 10 is a disconnected. Now, the only way that we can connect here is that once that 12 taking the roots, we have 8. Okay. 
And then we can make the uh, 9 and 10 to the uh, children of 8 uh, node there. Okay. So uh, the, these two examples that you can see the consistency here, once that, uh, once you're making a, a rotation, okay, uh, whatever the links to that node that being rotated is going to get disconnected. And then you have to find the, uh, um, you know, uh, a parent node for those isolated node here. So uh, before the, uh, uh, you know, before the rotation, we have a nine and 10 here, which was connected to 12. And then once you make a rotation, 12 becomes the uh, top over here, then A is going to be coming down uh, one unit. And then the uh, nine is isolated, you know, these two, we don't have any connections and only thing uh, the parents that we can connect it to is A. We cannot connect it to 15 because you already have a 13 as your left child, so you cannot connect there. So the only way that you can connect it to is eight, okay? So now once you finish the, uh, uh, the rotation on your grandparent, now the other condition was that you're gonna have to recolor them, okay? So now we're gonna have to go up to the uh, 12 here. Okay, we are going to make the uh, 12 uh, to black from red. And then you're going to recolor the uh, eight, okay? Because the, uh, that used to be a uh, um, you know, root node, now it becomes a parent of nine. So uh, we recolor them, okay? Uh, based on the uh, root node, because you know, uh, you can, if this stays as the uh, black, then there's a violation there, right? So we call, you know, uh, we, we color whatever is, you know, make the uh, property satisfying. So 12 becomes black. Then after that, children will be uh, uh, red. So 12, 15 is already red, so we don't have to worry about it. But this eight has to be uh, uh, red because it's now black, so it has to be a red. Okay, so I have some um, pseudo code here, but you know uh, we are not going to go through the uh, pseudo code here. The only thing that you know uh, I want you to understand here is the uh, how nodes are being added. Um, you know. Uh, it's not going to be just adding the, uh, uh, you know, uh, one particular node, but you need to take care of that what's happening after you adding this node. So this is kind of ramification of, you know, uh, you adding uh, node 10, okay? Inserting the uh, node 10 and then everything else, you know, uh, uh, comes after adding 10 is the uh, uh, some, uh, you know, uh, uh, the work that needs to be done to satisfy the, uh, the properties of uh, red black tree. So as you can see that, you know, adding uh, one node, uh, you know, takes quite a, you know, be, uh, you know what is that like, uh, three or four operations to make the uh, tree balanced, okay, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, red and uh, black. So uh, the one thing that we are, you know, obviously we don't want to do this, uh, you know, in by hands because obviously it's going to take a long time, you know, uh, going through this, you know, diagrams and make sure that color is correct and everything else. So uh, that's why we have this uh, code is, but uh, it's very, uh, even, even the uh, pseudo code is very complicated. So, but uh, uh, the, you know, in order to understand the insertion of the red color, red black color tree is going to be the, uh, make sure that you understand the properties. And then I want you to look at these four cases, uh, you know, to do the uh, operations of inserting. Um, if your uh, trees are not balanced, okay, uh, then, you know, uh, it's not going to work. Okay, so 
uh, as I shown you here, we are trying to just add one node, uh, you know, 10. And as you saw that we had to go through like three, four different uh, steps to uh, uh, make sure that all the tree, the, uh, all the trees that we have uh, changed satisfy the, uh, the properties of uh, red, the black tree, okay? So we're going to do uh, quite you know, a few more examples here, but uh, you know, what I want you to do here is uh, we want to try you know, uh, uh, an exercise here. So let me just see what we have here. Um, uh, oh, we have that one, okay. Uh, we want to, let's say, uh, uh, I'm going to give you an exercise here. Okay, so, uh, you know, you guys can, you know, uh, try this. Okay, so um, um, what I want to do here is, um, let me see. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to think about, you know, uh, thinking that what we need to do, you know, add some node here. Uh, we're gonna use the same tree here. I mean, let me see if I can. Okay, so I want you to use the same tree as you see here, that exercise that we did, okay? Uh, let's, we want to add, let's say, uh, um, Okay, um, we want to try at 17. Okay, so we, I want you to do this and uh, uh, come back. And then we, I want you to use the same tree though. Okay, so here's the uh, exercise that I want you to try. Okay, so here's the exercise. And I want you to insert, okay, uh, what did I say, 17? Let me see, I wanna make sure that that's the, no, let me go to the original tree. Okay, so we want to add, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, add 17, okay. Um, we also want to, uh, we're gonna try a couple of them here, okay. And, okay, uh, we want to try uh, add, okay, let's say another exercise is gonna add, uh, what would this be? Um, Let's try to add 14. Okay, so one is gonna be simple and the other one is not. Okay, so uh, try adding 17 there and then we're gonna add 14. Okay. So uh, let's, let's make sure that you understand the properties of, um, you know, the uh, red black tree. Uh, and the, uh, uh, when you uh, do the uh, insert operations, uh, let's make sure that you understand those four cases, okay? And the, uh, uh, you also need to understand the process of getting to the case. So. Uh, you know, first thing here is that, you know, make sure that I'm just going to write a note for you. So here's the note. Okay. So number one, determine if uh, there is violations. Oops. Okay. 
Okay. If there is violation, okay, so if there is, okay, then look, okay, uh, look at the color of uncle or aunt. Okay, and determine which case it is. And determine case. Then uh, number three, uh, complete operation. Okay, uh, based on uh, case operations, yeah. case operation. Okay, so it is important that, you know, once you know that there's a violations then you're gonna have to look for the uh, colors of your aunt, uncle and aunt. If it's gonna be a red, then this is gonna be case one. You're just going to, you know, recolor them. If it's gonna be a black uh, color, or you know the uncle or aunt, then you can go either case three and case four. Now, if it's going to be a line, either left or right, you're going to uh, rotate your parent. Okay. Uh, if it's going to be triangle. If it's going to be a line, uh, did I say uh, okay? If it's going to be a forming uh, you, uh, your parent and your grandparent forming a triangle to the right or triangle to the left, you're gonna to have to rotate your parent, okay? To the left or to the right based on how the uh, triangles form. When I say triangle means that you, your parent and grandparents know. Now, if the uh, you, your parents and your grandparents knows, uh, you know, forming a line to the left or to the right, then you are going to rotate your grandparent Okay, then you're gonna to have to recolor it. Okay, so that's the uh, case uh, two or three. So I want you to try these two uh, insert uh, exercises here. And then, you know, uh, I'm probably gonna, uh, I want you to finish it and discuss this uh, when we come back next Monday. And then I'm probably gonna ask you to, uh, you know, submit it as extra credit. There will be some other exercises uh, under the uh, in class. So if you need more practice, you can go there and do it. Okay. So I'm going to stop here. And the uh, next video that we're going to have is going to be the, uh, you know, deletions. Uh, what if you want to delete the node? Uh, is it, you know, uh, simple or is it difficult? Is it complex? Uh, we are going to look at some, you know, uh, uh, easy and the uh, kind of medium case of the uh, deleting the node. Okay, so that's what we're going to see next. If you have any questions, just, you know, contact me, then, you know, I'll try to help you. Okay. All right. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.